Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Hoberman. I've been a data modeler for over 30 years, have written a few books on data modeling, including one on ER Studio, and use ER Studio in my data modeling classes and during many of my consulting assignments. Today, I'm going to show you how to download and set up a trial version of ER Studio Data Architect. There are five steps we are going to cover. Step one, downloading. Step two, installing. Step three, launching. Step four, registering. Step five, customizing. Ready? Good. Let's start with downloading. Visit idera.com. Idera delivers tools that put you in the driver's seat of the data management lifecycle, including the tool where you're going to set up today, ER Studio Data Architect. Under the products menu, click ER Studio Data Modeling Tools, and here you will find information about three powerful tools. ER Studio Business Architect, which captures business processes through business process models. ER Studio Data Architect, which captures data requirements and terminology through data models and lineage. And ER Studio Enterprise Team Edition, which manages enterprise data through collaboration and connects data architecture to data governance with an integrated glossary of business terms. Although you can download a free trial of ER Studio Business Architect, and request a demo of ER Studio Enterprise Team Edition, the goal of our time together now is to get you up and running with an ER Studio Data Architect trial. By the way, we like to shorten things. A conceptual data model is CDM, a logical data model is LDM, a physical data model is PDM, and ER Studio Data Architect is ER Studio. When we use the term ER Studio, we are referring to ER Studio Data Architect. Got it? Great. Now, right under the banner, towards the top of the page, click Start for free. A form appears that needs to be completed to start the trial. What's nice about this trial, it's long, 14 days, does not require any form of payment to trial the software, and gives you full tool functionality. Complete the form, note the required fields in the privacy policy. As long as you're not a robot, click the I'm not a robot checkbox, and the next screen will provide a download link for ER Studio. You'll also receive a confirmation email with a download link for ER Studio. There are other tools you can try on the screen as well. When ready, download the file by clicking on the ER Studio Data Architect Installation Kit button and the file will be downloaded. Note that the installation file is about 400 megs. ER Studio runs in a Windows environment. If you have an Apple or Linux device, for example, you will need to run a Windows virtual machine to use ER Studio. If there are any issues with downloading the software or with any other questions with the trial version, scroll to the footer of any IDERA webpage, click support, and then trial. You can choose to get your questions answered through the resource center, community, or via email. Now to step two with installing ER Studio. Make sure you have administrator rights on your computer, then right click and run as administrator, read the license terms, and if you agree with the terms and conditions, click the checkbox. The Options button will allow you to install the program in another location and not have a program icon on your desktop. If you are okay with the default options, click Install, and if you are prompted to make changes to your system, click Yes. You are now ready to launch ER Studio. If you would prefer to launch at another time, choose Close, and you can always launch later from the Start menu. If you are ready to launch, click the button and hang on. You've launched? Okay, that's step three. The welcome page appears. There are some fantastic links to learn more about ER Studio. After taking some tutorials, you can turn off the welcome page so it does not appear every time you start the software. Step four, time to register the product. Your software is already registered as a trial version. Click on the arrow to the right of the question mark and choose License Manager. You can see how many more days are left in your trial subscription. And also, this is where you go to register a full license. Note that if there is an issue with installing or registering ER Studio, including the situation where the trial software might not have been installed for the first time, contact IDERA through the contact sales form in the footer of all web pages. Final step, customizing. Let's go. Click on the Options button under the Tools ribbon. This is the one place to go to set all of your model options. There are lots of options. As with buying a new car and trying to make it completely through the instruction manual before hitting the road, 
You quickly learn that to get up and driving, over 80% of the features are not necessary to understand in the beginning. In most cases, the defaults are just fine. As with learning everything in ER Studio, explore all of the options. If you're like me, you might like to learn by trying to break things. And it speaks volumes that I haven't broken ER Studio yet. So have no fear, explore and see what things do. I'll just share a couple of my favorite settings with you and you could play and experiment with the rest. Under the application tab, click on default colors and fonts. Choose the colors you like here. Also, it's a good idea when creating models to enable auto save. Under the logical tab, I like IE crow's feet notation. Also, here you can change the background color. I like a gray background with white entities for screen work. It really makes the entities pop off the screen. For printing though, make sure your background is white. I spend most of my time in the display tab. Model display shares general model settings. I recommend turning off the shadow as the entity boxes look sharper on the screen and also in print without the shadow. I also prefer elbow lines over straight lines. Straight lines allow for diagonal lines. This is a personal preference though. They are all personal preferences. You might find that your organization has certain standards in place for models, and this will determine the settings you choose. If your organization does not have such standards in place, you might be the one to lead them based on the settings you think work best for your organization. The display mode is very important. The attribute model order is the default, and this is great for most models. If you are building a CDM, however, choose entity and just the entity boxes will appear. On the display tab, I like to turn off the attribute bitmap. It doesn't add to the communication ability of the model, in my opinion, and also doesn't print sharp. Play with the display mode too. You might find sometimes it's useful to display the definitions directly on the model. I use this feature quite a bit. After playing under options, create a data model. Some of the options will become clearer when you have an actual data model open and can see how the option impacts the model. Click New under the Tools menu and start playing. Our next video will cover each of the menus and get you up and running in creating a data model.